Oh, now I gotta put my stick. Alright, I hit the button. And it's episode five yeah, of Get five. Back Tartar with Briar Rose, Colonel Grizzle, and hey, once again. Yeah, I mean, I need I need to have a talk with her because we didn't discuss like on air time when we were you know doing the contract. So uh, she's she may be overstepping her duties. I'm not sure yet. I have uh, legal is going to take a look at it and uh, let me know what I should do. You know, the best part of all Bristol oh. is uh, God mode is still on. <laughs> Excuse me. There you go. Uh, the best the, the best part of all drizzle is um AI robot chick ain't got nothing on Briar Rose Cat. Uh, the AI hey, will lion. not know what to do with the, the whole feline sedimentation, is what I'm saying. It will beguile and befuddle. It will mind boggle. That's what pussy does. Of course. That's what it was designed for, right? I thought. Precisely. As, in, as, as the creator intended. Obviously. God don't make mistakes. So how God's has uh, how has your week been since we last spoke? Well, um, don't get me wrong. I, I love all my children. Me and the missus love the children, but, um, you know, it's getting really intense with five kids and diapers at the same time. And then when one gets sick, they all get sick. When one poops, they all poop. And, uh, so long we story poop short, one, we poop all. I've been giving condoms a second thought. Yeah. Anyway. anyway. And I also realized just this evening that. Long before the twins were born, when I had my sixth child, I named her Octavia. Oh, it was like foreshadowing. Which is, again, I, like, you know, like where I keep saying, Houston, we're good, we're, we're good to go. And then I'm ready to launch and join you on the stream. And I look around, where's my fucking jetpack? Mm. Playing on the radio. See, I, I'm telling you, Drizzle and Yona. Like some stalking and Malone shit. I mean, it's just uh, it drizzles down low. I'm gonna fucking feed him the rock. He doesn't have to tell me. I already know. See, we don't even have to telegraph our passes. Massad, yeah. you should really work on your hands for a Massad. It's so bad. BBC and CNN are doing flying elbows on your non ass. Yeah. Hasbro. I mean, really, <clears throat> is, is there a Hasbro writer strike ongoing in Tel Aviv that we weren't informed about, Drizzle? Because probably because really... they usually do that shit at the same time everywhere, make I it mean, seem granted, like it's organic. Their propaganda or Hasbro, as it were, ex explaining, um, it never really was like blockbuster Oscar material. It was maybe at best. Let's say like some Pam Greer black exploitation, top of the B line type movie stuff, maybe Dolomite level, right? All right, shut your mouth. But now this shit's like straight DVD. I mean, come on, and and we are, we have the video of the Hamas. Bad and the evil things in yeah. the baby strollers. This is why we must target the baby strollers when they are pushing down the street in evacuation with arms overhead. Right. Yeah. Dude, I, I, mean, I honestly I have that. not watched any of the uh, the blood and gore that has come out of the latest skirmish between uh what is that egypt and uh jordan yeah i just i haven't i've tuned it all out somehow amazingly i've been able to tune it all out you forgot about the egyptian and the jordanian attacks because i was focused on the attacks from syria and lebanon 
Nah. Uh, yeah, well, let's just go with all of the above. Right. All. The I mean, you know, I mean, it, it, it when it when it's gotten to the point that Iranian Minister Rice, President Rice, he is literally sitting at the same fucking table, drinking from the same batch of tea as Muhammad bin and Salman. I mean, the whole, it's like the whole Sunni and Shia and Wahhabi and everything has just melted away into Middle Eastern Asian sushi hmm. roll, kind of. Abracadabra. Well, what Wasabi, Wahhabi, same thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's an acquired taste. I mean, you might like Vegas. You might like Islam. Well, Mecca's your your taste these days. Go on down, circle the Kabla, maybe play some slots. Anyways, um, Mecca like a know, high, Mecca Chani ho. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's amazing to see MBS take the reins and the leadership role. You know, I, I kind of thought after the whole, um, you know, putting Jamal Khashoggi through a paper shredder in the Turkish embassy and exiting his remains and uh well to be fair guy. it was a human paper shredder paper shredder nonetheless if you consider the human body to be paper yeah but you know every time death to tyrants and i shout out um frostbacks um every time death to tyrants and i get to talking about the wood chipper and everything i'm always reminded that man muhammad bin salman's a about 99 steps ahead of me on this. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. 80, he's 81 steps ahead he, of me. Man, I, I'll tell you what. 81 steps. Because <clears throat> I'm catching up, you know. The, if you the, had... the all-time record is 81 public executions in one day. And I'm told they had to stop because the concession stand ran out of uh, unsweetened, uncaffeinated tea. Oh, wow. He was seven short. Yeah. Seven short of the record. That's a shame. You know, if you were to put a lineup together of potential suspects, and, and just humor me on this, but if you were to put like a list together of potential suspects that you thought would eventually emerge over the next five years, maybe, give or take, as the 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 antichrist right the the archetype of <clears throat> the opposite of the christ figure and his name wasn't on it i would probably think you were full of shit you don't know, know what, what you're talking about this is get backed harder with colonel drizzle and major high yona and and here's where we're gonna go straight to the heat of the meat this you, you may ask you know, how can you tell you're looking at, and you know, uh, my, my gaydar and my radar and my um, anti-Christ are not working so well. Are there any telltale signs or clues you could point? Oh, oh, yes. Yes, indeed. For example, at times when I would hear Wolf Blitzer cheerlead for war, I kind of thought, what type of genocidal stew is this motherfucker making? Same thing with Bibi Netanyahu and Goron, the fucking uh, defense minister for uh, Israel. And anyways, um, well, the amazing thing is, look at the recent video clips. Mm. Bibi Netanyahu, Wolf Blitzer on CNN, uh, the 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 Goron, uh, kill every Arab dude, uh, head of uh, the Israeli defense forces. I love, I love these euphemistic terms. Um, mm. All of them wearing even the the butts. finance minister, like the dude in charge of the money, was like they all need to die. Yeah, and then they're like super intellectual, uh, bestseller author dude uh, chimes in response to a tweet by the dude that says we should just burn Gaza to the ground. And his response is, why so humane? Like, you could go harder. 
Yeah. You could well, go yeah, harder. You know and what the so, harder is, right? Uh, like, how do you go harder? How do you, you fact know, them harder? When the entire world is isolating you and pointing okay. fingers at you, when even tap motherfucking Jaker on CNN is, 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 is pooping on yeah. your Hasbro, that's when you got to double down, man. Go all in. You know, walk over to the chalkboard. Pull them children's certificates down and smash them. Take that, Hamas grade schoolers. Hi, and I'm going to erase last week's lesson from the chalkboard, too. Amazing. Amazing. And the best part of all, BBC keeps showing the footage over and over again of the videos from the uh, basement of um, Al Shifa Hospital there. Oh, yeah, yeah. The hospital that and, they blew uh, up, but they didn't blow up, but they blew up, but didn't blow up. And like the boxes with the labels and all the other stuff that's screwed about there, neatly in box. It's all written in Hebrew. Even, um, Shout out Orwell Huxley even pointed that out when Ryan was going over it. Like, um, why is all the Hamas stuff and all their material uh, written in Hebrew? Don't they speak Arabic? Ah, doesn't matter. Oh, maybe they're like you. You know, they're polyglots. Polyglots. I mean, they're- it's there's you know there are multiple languages that are spoken in the region, so it would it, that kind of makes sense, you know. And believe it or not, they I mean, you grew United up learning Nations. to speak the language of your enemy, right? I remember learning Russian in school. Oh, man. Oh, man. And he just, I threw the ball to him. He just threw it right back to me. This is a double assistant. I just dunked it. Because you just said language of the enemy. And I was about to drop an Esperanto joke. And that's oh, funny yeah. because <laughs> Esperanto was originally created by the United States Army Psychological uh, command to uh, be a fictional language of the enemy to sound like a romance based language mixed with a little bit of Slavic um, and uh, isn't that baby cute and so Esperanto well then the globalist and the eugenicist kind of adopted Esperanto and said this is great if we're going to do a one world government and have a one world serfdom of uh, um what's the German term? Oh yeah, um Untermenschen. Hoi polloi, the dweebish masses of sheepledom. Um you know All right. keep talking. We're, we're, I gotta I gotta put her out of the studio. Oh yeah, it gets wild. Eventually you gotta put the pussy out. That I that it, I'm, listen to what Jackson Hankel says about that stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's why there's sidewalk outside, bitch. Get on the sidewalk. Trying to get some clout here. So, I practiced it up, and um, which we'll, we will uh, we will share the video here uh, at the end of the program. What is that? Book in to kind of book in tonight's um, saga. Um, but uh, I guess we're going to call this, we, we didn't really discuss this beforehand, but since it's so dominating and since there's such a massive shift in the manufacturing reality industrial complex, all of this happening within the last 48 hours, like I literally still am reeling in shock from the Jake Tapper CNN segment where he just literally chank Uger TYT style just lands flying elbow after flying elbow after flying elbow, completely destroying hat. I mean, I destroying what? Destroying who? Destroying IDF propaganda. That is so Jake laughably false. I know. Wait, no. How high were you? That was. It happened today. It was this afternoon. It was today. Yeah, like, I'm but I haven't seen just, it anywhere. Like, I didn't see it on Twitter. I didn't see it on Zero Hedge. I didn't see. It I anywhere. just saw it on T Lab about an hour ago. 
really for the first time and he had it from huh. where it had aired like so i guess it aired at seven o'clock so about three hours ago i, I i'm like what he, i mean after the wolf blitzer thing this is like if wolf blitzer rushed the ball three yards mm. to get us to second and seven jake tapper fucking threw the 55 yard completion for a touchdown like oh my god like by the time he was done it felt like one of those comedy channel roasts like wow man wow so what do you think the play is like why, well, why do you think CNN is questioning they who shall not be questioned? Well, you know, the chosen ones. That leads us to tonight's unofficial episode name. Oh, shit. No more wound for Gaza. No more Gaza for wound. See what I did there. LD knows how I am about the puns. Constantly baking puns in the pun oven. Um, it's what I do. It's part of my uh, reputation that I have to uphold. So, when it comes to uh, the terrible, terrible propaganda and the fact that the genocide is just so completely inescapable and unavoidable unavoidable and the propaganda from israel has been so bad that they themselves have literally been putting out tweets and delete tweet immediately uh now put it up like this i mean i mean it's really yeah. as uh, again they were like pam greer black exploitation level b movie 70s type stuff back in the 70s but Oh my God, this stuff now, I don't even know if it's going straight to DVD. I think it's just like a YouTube series at this point. Like, it's really, it's bad. In fact, I don't even know if I would call Israeli Hasbro a, a YouTube channel with viewers. It's more like a, a Rockfin channel. Oh, I, I should, that, that, that's too low to blow. Wow. I, I love Rock <laughs> Chat. I love Rockfin just for the cell phone app. Oh, yeah, it's that good? It's that good. Wow. But, you know, to high be fair... I, from the high Yona. I, I still love MS-DOS. Fuck graphic user interface. Get on some ones and zeros, bitches. So, I heard earlier this week, <clears throat> and unfortunately, I can only say I heard it. I think I actually read it. I don't think I heard it, uh, but I have not been able to confirm it. So I guess we're just going to have to call this one a rumor. And unfortunately, I won't have a link in the notes that I can direct All right, people that, that to. That leads us to our recurring segment well, hold on. on Get Fact Harder. Yeah. Some people say. There you All go. All right, go ahead, Drizzle. Cool. So somewhere in my travels on the internet this week, I had seen that allegedly Italy had proposed that NATO become the administrator for post-war Gaza, but I've, I've searched for it for days and I cannot find anything anywhere to corroborate the one item that I saw. So I don't know if there's any truth to it or not, but uh, Maloney was kind of makes sense. That. Maloney was talking about that. And as you and I both know, um, Maloney is a darling child and one of the up and coming whippersnapper World Economic Forum young leaders. Yeah. And well, she's hot. She knows That's how why. to party. She definitely like she's knows actually how to party. good looking. You know, yeah. politicians usually aren't good looking. She's the I exception, mean, not the rule. She's a bug. If, if you don't say bunga bunga the first time you see Maloney, Shout out Silvio Berlusconi and uh, yeah, bunga, little bunga, broken no whores doubt. out on the Sicilian Isles. Anyways, this chick knows how to have a good time, especially when it comes to loud, sloppy Zionist 
cocksucking, which um, normally the Americans are the most adept at. Um, oh, thanks this to is our, definitely uh, getting struck on YouTube. Laurel Canyon and Hollywood. Yeah. Um, but even to that, the, the most loyal Zionist cockslobbers, the ones that keep constant eye contact, even them breaking off and and uh, tap Jake or literally just a few hours ago, he bit the dick. I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. That's but, true. You know, that, because it's true. That's how Harold and Kumar escaped from Guantanamo Bay, if yeah. you will recall. Yeah. When the cock meets in your face, bite the dick and run, motherfucker. All right. And that's some people say. All right. Very nice. Page two, Paul Harvey. Page two. That's right. But you know, it's like this is made for radio or something. It's weird. Hmm. Well, I mean, I have been accused of having a face made for radio, so that may have something to do with it. But uh, how much longer do you think they can milk this Israel thing? I mean, seriously. We were we were saying like twelve months ago that the the normal tens were already becoming too frazzled, and that too much stress in one direction or the other was going to start setting them off. Which you know, arguably, it probably did. You could also make a case for you know some MK Ultra programming in some of some of those shootings as well. But uh, you know, there's there's no uh no uh uh lack of videos on the internet of just random people flipping the fuck out in public you know in the walmart in the parking lot you know on the hiking trail whatever wherever like this 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 playing on people's emotions, right? And keeping them in a constant emotional state, especially when they're fixated on one subject over and over day after day, week after week, fatigue begins to set in, you know, it's not like they can milk this cow forever. They've got to direct it somewhere else. Eventually. What do we go back to Ukraine after this? You know, I keep thinking about the fact that, you know, we really cannot lose sight of the fact of how important the sovereignty of the Taiwanese people is in Taipei. Mm. Don't sleep. Don't lose sight of how important Taiwan is to you being able to eat every day. Just saying. Well, I heard that our uh, armament donations to uh, Taiwan were such that they were, you know, drawing the envy of a, a small Jewish coke addict in Eastern Europe. That, which leads us to our next uh, radio segment, Unnamed <laughs> Sources. That's yes, right. according I to we're gonna Unnamed censored. Sources at the Pentagon, um... They can neither confirm nor deny the validity of threats made by China's general so that he wants to barbecue all of America. <laughs> I was about to say, he was the one that makes the really good chicken, right? Yep. And, and he's going to barbecue all you American chicken. Because mm. you're yellow. And they should know it. It's the river they live in. So that's where you think it's headed next, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, we, we, we got our ass handed to us in Saigon. Now it's Ho Chi Minh City. Oh, uh, well, let's go up to Kandahar and Kabul. And oh, time to take off from the airport again. Oh, uh, let's uh, see. Our, uh, uh, um, well, hello there, um, Queef. Uh, we'll, we'll just, we'll, you know, we'll hang out on, on the skies over. Uh, the Ukraine with the ghost fart of Queef. Uh, oh, this is not turning out so well. I've, let's, let's go bomb Gaza again. Mm. There you go. Uh, and You know, actually, my pet theory kind of ruminating right now is the fact that when I look at 
how Justin Turdhole, aka Justin Trudeau, um, baby Castro, Fudge um, Trudy, baby Fidel, yeah, uh, he, uh, God, you gotta love the fucking nepotism. Like Pierre Trudeau wasn't enough of an ass. Anyway, that I not only that he's like the ultimate soy male. Yeah, yeah. It's, and, it's and America's uncanny. first black PM, right? With black face. Oh well, yeah, um, black Indian. He he ticks all the boxes. Yeah, he's and, and intersectional, he, and, and he gets sick with the seek. Sick with the seek because yeah. he's chic like that. Say 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 chic, the freak. Uh, and so I feel like he really jumped the shark, Fonzie, when he went all. Um, I'm going to freeze your bank account because I don't like your speech. I, I don't like the way you honk your horn at me. And and I feel like it was, yeah, they have that power, but it's kind of like playing your jokers and your spade royal face cards on the first three hands. like. Uh, and, and then again, with Nutty Yahoo and, and uh, the General's uh, the genocidal Zionist band. Um, yeah, everyone loves their um, Jim Croce covers, but uh, you know, th- nobody listens to Jim Croce anymore. That shit just isn't landing. It's wrong. not landing this time. I need that's. I need to write that it's down. I need to landing. go find some Jim Croce because fuck all you people. <laughs> Y'all need some Croce. Well, I mean, look, I, if the Croce is hard to find, I know you got some Yusuf, blah, 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 blah. Uh, whatever uh, Cat Stevens uh, name, no, name no, too. no, 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 that's why I love you, Drift. It's called taste. You either have it or you don't. And if you don't, could be the Rona. Make sure to get your PCR right. test at at least 40 cycles. Government's at giving them away for free cycles. again, that folks. Way, get yours today. You'll definitely get a positive result. Hey! To find out more, fuck around. Hey, can't we have another lockdown before we do World War Three? I thought I, really I thought that's what World War Three was going to be for. Is we we do another lockdown? We have to lock down because like people are dying because it's World War Three. Because the government said Maybe. so. Is there any way we could combine? Like, you remember where, how we used to have the color-coded terror days like today is an wait for it it's an orange terror day Mm -hmm. and Smokey the bear says it's a red fire day and so like you know i literally would carry around color cards in my wallet because in my wallet has little pockets where you can put credit cards and stuff as most wallets do and i would have the little card color cards that i can open up my wallet immediately know oh red for fire and orange for terror today but they need to do that for the Rona. Today. What are you talking about? There's a teal chance of Rona. I'm talking about. There are people that still think government. that that's real. You, you, you mean Israel isn't real? But, but no, of course, Israel is real. It's right in their name. Is real. Oh, right, right. Yeah, that, which yeah. helps drive it home. It's right. totally real. Right. It's totally real. In fact, I'm going to call it is totally real from, yeah. from now on. It's totally real. Yeah. Their unofficial name is totally legit. So, <laughs> is real, totally legit. Welcome to is totally real. I tell a video. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This isn't Grand Theft Auto, folks. This isn't a video game. So. Wow. Yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say about Palestine. And Israel at this point, other than um, I guess I'm going to do a Jimmy Dore style. Um, this story is all about me and how I'm right and told you so before it happened. Yeah. Um, because thanks for being it. musician, uh, I've made about six Palestine songs. Uh, we're still working on that Palestine album. Shout out Alex Stein. Uh, DM me, bro. Uh, and um, we've got to get you on that album. And uh, the most recent song that I did for Palestine was after the recent incursions 
and trespasses into the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which is the third holiest site in all of Islam, I think, right after uh, the Kabla and Mecca and uh, Medina, of course, yeah. uh, funky cold Medina. It's, Shout more, out it's, it's more important than the Whaling Wall, right? That's right. Okay. That's right. All right. Just checking. No offense. No offense. I don't know. I, did, I didn't know if they did a ranking recently or not. So just wanted to make sure. Um, and so for some reason, the IDF wanted Top to 10 do most the wild holy thing for the 21st century. In the coming Al-Aqsa in at number Mosque. 10. And you see them like going in during. Um, all right. I've got a thing here. Uh, what's it called? Ramadan. Yeah. Yes. Ramadan. Yeah, and so which is like the it's, it's like if you're a Catholic, it's like Lent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Very religious. That's for several weeks, and you're fasting and only eating um, Long John Silvers or Captain D's on Fridays, and so you know very devout. Um, but they're even more so because you know they don't do tartar sauce unless they're in Crimea. Uh, and so uh, I don't want to mix up all my conflicts because I know that Janet Yellen said we can only fund two at a time. Um, well. But we haven't asked her if we can do three at a time. I'm waiting for that. Hey, Janet Yellen, can can we fund Taiwan, Gaza bombing, and Ukraine? I'm going to say we can. Money printer go burr. Why can't we? We're, we're the United what? fucking States, man. We do can do whatever the fuck we, we want. Do. Because we fuck you, rules. that's why. And, and if the rules are in the way, we'll rewrite the rules. That's right. We I mean, we've only been law. writing the rules since, what, 1947, 46, 45? i tell you what. I'll tell you what. I got something even better than international I guess law. Technically, it's like 1913. Really? Let's move beyond international law and accountability to an international rules-based order. Hmm. I like that. Well, like that was that? Bretton Woods. That was the agreement in, what was that, 1948? <laughs> yeah. That's when we got the rules-based international order. All right. So, uh, you know, uh, who needs gold? It doesn't need to be fungible or tangible. Go all in for Doge. And hold all, motherfuckers. Hold all. Mm-hmm. All right. So, so with that, um, we do have a musical interlude. Oh, we do? Where I'm going to attempt play this song live we're only a half an hour in do you want to already go to the musical interlude this this early well because it's a bookend thing because the actual okay. live uh performance uh with music video which i i should probably send you the link for it so that you can then play it an hour or two from now yeah um that would be helpful the the, the name of the song is called phosphorus eyes um, because if you look up at phosphorus in the sky, mm-hmm. um, you will get phosphorus in your eyes. That's why I'm wearing glasses right now. Gotcha. Um, so that I can, I would imagine, especially white phosphorus, like, oh, yeah. you know, what you may encounter on a sabbatical in the Holy land, you know, like tomorrow. So, so the thing of it is when you hear a Zionist chanting out loud, white phosphorus power white phosphorus power it is racist it is racist it is always racist (laughs) there is not a use case where it is not racist all right go for it all right get get set up and uh keyboard set up here let's see we'll chase off a few more listeners uh let's see if this thing is gonna pick up the piano musical in the nude uh stella uh, only for subscribing members. Uh, so you can make that happen at manufacturingreality.org forward slash provide hyphen value. Uh, if in the show notes, we will include the Yona link for only pianists. <laughs> only pianists. That's right. <laughs> make sure you spell it right when you type it in to the address bar
Nice. Well, the parts I could hear, I actually liked a lot. Oh, no. Yeah, it does that. It's, uh, (laughs) yeah, that mic's just probably not best for, like, trying to mic a whole room sound, you know? That's just what it is. It works good when I've got the microphone itself pointed directly at the source. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I keep thinking that, well, if I'm singing... And I've got sound coming from the keyboard. Right. right I'll right. just split the difference <clears throat> and I'll aim it to something between the keyboard speaker and my mouth. And that uh, way it'll pick up both, but it's directional. Right. So by pointing it away from the keyboard and my mouth, it ends up picking up um, nothing. Right. Right. Or all the, it's, it's kind of ghostly is how I would describe it. It's very ghostly, uh, which is, you know, kind of a neat effect because it's like you're you're phasing in and out of reality. Uh, well, you know what? That, that, this is called Get Back Harder, and we try to take a look at other stories and mm-hmm. other things that are going on. So let me go uh, ahead and get you uh, the link. Biscotti finally arrived. Song. He is tardy. All right. Yeah. Let me get you the link to that video, and I think I would rather just get the video to that song out of the way so that we can move on to other topics instead of revisiting the Palestine genocide okay. right. yet again. First, kind of uh, I have a programming thing. note here uh, that we do need to take care of uh, because Biscotti did want to know how high you are, but I have to strike that request because he's tardy. That's how that works. Yeah. Yeah. And, now, and I actually can't tell out. you how high I am right now. But So you play. broke the bombshell uh, just a few minutes ago, right here on Get Fact Harder. You remember that you heard it here first, folks, uh, about Jake Tapper officially being anti Semitic. Wait, is that what? Yeah, that's close enough yeah. to what happened. Yeah. 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 Uh, that is, that's it. Just a few hours before that epic event 
occurred in our world. Uh, the board of OpenAI officially and formally kicked Sam Altman's ass to the curb. See oh. you, Sam. Get the fuck out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Both on the same day. Coincidence? I don't know. I don't know. But I thought it was interesting that uh, the World Economic Forum, because I do follow the World Economic Forum on all of their social media um, platforms that I'm actually participating on. I follow them everywhere. So I can see what they're putting out media-wise. And this week, uh, I don't know if anyone else picked up on it, but... They were doing a lot of live streams this week centered around AI and cybersecurity, uh, the biodigital convergence, among other such subjects. And, and now today, because uh, they were talking about the future, right? They're, they were talking about all this great technology that's just around the corner that's going to make our lives so much better than they are now. They're talking about all of that stuff this week. And end of the week comes around Joe six pack, you know, he's not paying attention to the news right now. And the most powerful artificial intelligence system as it's being sold to us just had not one, but both of their founders leave. Isn't that interesting? Wow, it's like Bartles and James without the Bartles and the James. Right. Now it's just a wine cooler made by two strange white dudes on the porch with bar with like straw hats and uh -huh. stuff like that. That's right. It worked in the nineties, but it's, it's, we're move, in a different what place talking now. About. Yeah, we're in a different place now. Are we're, we? We're totally are we really? Yeah. Uh, by the way, I, I sent you the linky link. Um, oh yeah, uh, which I have a link for it on uh, what's that? Vimeo and Odyssey and BitChute, but I included the Rumble link because okay. Rumble has been keeping it somewhat free speech. If you don't mind the smell of um, chud nuts, well, their their functionality seems to be fairly stable too. So uh, you know, shout out to Rumble for actually being able to do at least a couple of things right. And you know, I could go on about some of the disappointments, but you know, all in all, uh, I keep trying to go out of my comfort zone and regularly socialize and mix with people that I know that I do not agree with on everything simply because it allows for more growth. You know, the same way that you could just plant your weeds in the closet and not have the good halide grow lamps or a fan to give it, you know, resistant so that it'll grow a strong stalk and, and you end up with a weak plant that all of a sudden you go in there one day and the whole thing just collapsed on itself it can't even hold the cola buds i mean you know we're talking about growing a movement um and it's just like growing weeds you see um, and you can grow your own medicine and then you can just prescribe yourself prn and feed your own human endocannabinoids story which you'll you'll notice there's a pattern with fiona everything leads back to the weeds mm -hmm. or the tramp stamp usually yeah and the tramp stamp my tramp stamp is w e e e d s of course weeds because mm -hmm. there's more than one there's always more than one it's like the opposite of islander that's why they can't eradicate weeds and that's the key to our revolution. That is the key to our victory and success in the autonomy movement. Be like the weeds. It's like whack-a-mole, baby. It's not like Highlander where there can only be one. There can only be many. Mm -hmm. there and have so to be many. no matter how many tens of thousands of political prisoners and people you vilify and 
um, citizens you domestically um, terrorists designate um, it, again losing losing cause because you know you're fighting weeds you're fighting dog dick gnats and the, and the harder you swing to slack to smack the dog dick gnats you just smack yourself in the face but like like the Zionists you know it's like, it's like Zionist li little hat dude why are you punching yourself in the face over and over again that's kind of weird. I mean, you're, you're punching yourself and then you're claiming victimhood. I mean, how is it a war if you're attacking your own people? Ukraine, mm. North Dakota, Tennessee, Israel, East Timor. Wait a Iran. minute, North Dakota? Uh, 1890, wounded me. Oh, okay. Oh, there was something about to pop off now. The Lakota Damn. War. The Dakotas oh, are at it again. Shit. Ah, the Lakota War. Yes, yes. The American government, who's taking care of the occupied Lakota peoples, is waging a war against the Lakota nation inside the state of North Dakota because it's a sovereign nation. And so Big Meat comes to a Wounded Knee, and, and, and the deal is struck. We'll, we'll give you safe passage. And we'll stop trying to kill you and your women and children if you just come to Wounded Knee and turn in all your firearms. And so, <clears throat> should I do the spoiler alert? Nah, fuck it. Yeah, we're yeah, going yeah, straight yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because no, there's, no there's always a, at least one pussy in the audience. You have to. Okay, spoiler alert. They give all of their guns away, except the two last guys in line because they, you know, somebody was itchy. And pulled the blanket off the Gatling gun too soon. And then the other Indians saw it. And they're like, oh, shit. That's why there's a freshly dug trench right here next to where we're standing on top of this hill. And the gun is on the other side of us from the trench. And then the gun fires. And then most of them conveniently just fall into the trench after giving away their firearms. But there were two guys in the back of the line who didn't give up their firearms. Sadly, they, they would both die, too. But some others were able to run away. So there were survivors of the Battle of Wounded Knee. But um, I guess the moral of the story of the Battle of Wounded Knee 1890 was um, just turning your guns to the government and they'll take care of you. But they've already dug a train. Page well, three. I mean, that's okay. always been government's <laughs> position, hasn't it? Because they're... they're they're the ones here to protect us. What do you need a gun for? You, guys, you just got a puny gun. We got tanks. We got a rifle. We got, we got a Gatling gun. We got F-15s. We way got more nukes. rounds for, you know. What's your gun going to do against our nukes? Yeah, how are you going to revolution today without an F-15, Joe Biden? Or did, did you see the look on um, that blinking idiot's face? Um, Anthony Blank, an idiot. Um, mm. uh, in uh, they were still in Scan for Shithole, um, there in the Bay Area, and they had just finished their um, Minister Potemkin tour of San Francisco, where he went down select streets with brand new storefronts and no poop, and um, he literally like just the got literal done. definition of a Potemkin village, like it's. You know, Literally, come on, folks! They like they're they're doing the all of, of the tropes, all right? And you know, and that Crying way, when, out when, uh, loud. when when President Xi Jean Pooh Bear came through town, and he scanned for shithole, all he saw was brand new two story, three story fronts, even like all of the closed restaurants downtown, like the Subway and the Burger King, all painted black, because um. They know that the Chinese big Rolling Stones fans painted black. So, you know, there they are. They're saying their goodbyes. And Joe's like, oh, wow. That was a reach. Wow, your whips are awesome. Look at mine. And so they're, you know, I'll show you yours and you can show me yeah. mine. And, and, and they're, they're, you know, and they're looking at all the security features of their armored fucking whips. Uh, and so then he's like, okay, so he goes into the hall to give his press conference. She is literally getting on to the, uh, what, what is it there? 
Oh, the I the I five eighty to go down to SFO, San Francisco International, and fly back to Beijing. Literally going through Daly City on the interstate. And somebody asked Biden, who's now in the midst of a post press conference. And you think uh so do you still think Xi Jinping is a dictator? Oh yeah, he's a dictator. And and I mean and he right is, isn't moment, he? Like it yeah. was the you know how like a broken clock is right twice a day. Yeah, I, but that's how I view say- Joe Biden. Every now and then he gets one right, you know. Well, yeah, he's a dictator. And Blind so, squirrel. like, they haven't even left the air. They're not even made it to the airport yet. He's still in San Francisco fucking county. And, and of course, the second he says that, Blinken's like, like um, as Kit Cabello from uh, Hard Lens Media would say, oof, oof, big oof moment. Shout out Chicago. Oof. Oof. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't I can't wait till you see that that tap Jake or takedown mm-hmm. of some genocidal turbo racist Zionist. Yeah. It's amazing. Careful, you might say take Japper and then somebody would somebody would be very angry. Yeah. It it it's it's tap Jake. Mm. So uh, you, you got the link to the um, to the uh, version of the song where you could actually hear it. Yeah, yeah, you sent it to me, right? Uh, yeah, yeah uh, but I got let, it. Let me see. Do you want to play later. it right now? Well, just whenever you're ready to close the book on uh, this week's um, genocide festival, and oh, dude, we I, we I thought the, we had uh, moved well beyond that at this point. There's other things going on. That's what I'm saying. I thought we had already yeah. moved on to other stuff, like talking oh. about Sam Altman being bounced from the 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 damn thing that he built allegedly. Well, that means it's time for Elon Musk to take it over. Mm. It's time for right. Elon to show up I mean, to the I, dance party. It, isn't that what he did at PayPal or Tesla? He didn't start PayPal. He didn't start Tesla. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense, though, because Microsoft is majority owner of OpenAI. Why why would Elon... Matter of fact, Elon is building his own AI business to compete with OpenAI because he says that they're not OpenAI enough, and his is going to be OpenAI-er. Patent pending. Man, there's got to be a way to. You think there's a way we can? You, you remember Job on Lawnmower Man, Stephen mm. King movie, where where he becomes the lawn, he becomes one with the internet. There's got to be a way we can get Keith Olbermann, former ESPN Sports Center anchor and current um, foaming at the mouth shit lip. There's got to be a way to get Keith Olbermann to become an AI. Oh, they're doing better than that. I'm trying to remember who it was God. I was listening to. <clears throat> it might have been. I can't remember. I can't remember who it was, but apparently Microsoft is now. Uh, and again, folks, you know, take this as you would any other nugget of information. Always do your own research and, and uh, get, you know, get the fact yourself up. That's the best way to go about doing it. Uh, But apparently Microsoft is now a part of the uh, intelligence apparatus of the United States federal government. Like they're not an agency per se, um, but we might as well just go ahead and start calling them, I guess, MSN at this point. Because they've got to pick like a a three or a four-letter designation eventually. So we'll just call them MSN. And and, and here we are. It, yeah. it, it's really amazing to, to see the dissension in the ranks and the infighting, which is absolutely uncharacteristic. I mean, 
I've never seen such a groundswell of activism and outrage over, I don't know, um, undeniable daily fucking outrageous and grotesque genocide has apparently Mm -hmm. motivated a lot of college students to, like, for example, go protest at the Democratic National Committee headquarters in D.C. Mm. Only for the DNC to then call the police on them who showed up in IDF trained right here and beat the holy shit out of them and tear gas and threw people down the stairs and then went to the Did news really? press. And then the news stories like that I, said, ran I haven't been following any of this. Was that these pro Hamas demonstrators violently attacked the police? who were trying to protect the DNC from this outrageous mob of uh, hollering, their constituents, pro-Hamas supporters who were there screaming, like let the exact Gazans people live. that they want voting with, for them. Because, you know, I mean, when you're, when you're all holding mm. votive candles on. and you're a bunch of girls and Jews for peace, holding arms at the elbows and, and all singing in feminine voices. Let Gazans live with your boat of candles. Scares fuck out of me. Bring in the Bradleys, boys. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Vote harder, kids. They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. And that was yesterday afternoon. All right, so they kept, all right, get me up to speed on that because I knew there was a protest in DC, right? All right, I knew there was a protest in DC. I knew that it was fairly large from what they were saying, like a quarter million people or something. I'm like, wow, that's large. Although I'm sure the numbers were. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. You're getting protest messed up. That yeah. was the very peaceful pro Israel Whatever. celebration. I don't know, dude. The, the one with the 250,000 people. Um, it's funny. I don't know. When I see a story and it says red or blue in it, I'm just like, no, I'm not interested. Well, as it turns out, the only people claiming that there were 250,000 people at the APAC pep rally for yeah. um, Israel and Raytheon, the only people claiming that there was 250,000 people there are the same people that were paying $250 a pop for individuals in the crowd to even be there after paying for their... But there were very fine people on both sides being paid to be there. All right, let's right, let's right. not kid ourselves here. Right, right. Um, but the, as it turns out, a bunch of these Detroiters, Detroiters, Detroitians, I'll say Detroiters. Um, Mm -hmm. No, I like Michigander better. We're going to go with Michiganders again. Detroitisans? Detroitisans? Michiganders. So so these Michiganders were stranded on the tarmac because when... Are females Michigoose? uh, Michigies. (laughs) Michigies. Unless they're in the UP. Then they're just sluts. (laughs) Um, Yeah. uh, I mean, there's nothing to do in the Upper Peninsula other right. than fuck. Right. Other than fuck. And for free. Uh, whores get paid. Uh, so let's do it for the fun of it. Um, so uh, take notes if needed. We, we teach vocabulary here as well. We're trying to get people ready for the ACT and the SAT, mm. and vocabulary is an important component of that testing. Um, so back to the Michiganders waiting to go to their totally peaceful um, Raytheon pep rally for um, Zionism. Uh, they end up getting stranded on the tarmac, waiting on these. Uh oh, I think we lost Jonah. Uh oh, let's see. Good thing is I'm still recording. Hmm. Well, 
Are y'all still on the stream? I'm guessing not, if I'm getting the connecting thing. So, all right, let's see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, and we're back. And we're back. Uh, you can wait for it to become responsive or exit the page. I'll wait. Well, we've still got Zoom. Zoom is still functioning. All right, there you are. Yep. All right. It looks so, like we're still on the stream. I don't know what happened, man. Let's see. We're on the stream, but the Odyssey chat said they couldn't see anything, and I keep refreshing Odyssey. Well, you dropped and... out on me. You completely dropped out. Huh, I never lost internet. I don't think I did either. I can't. Oh, that's, cool. that's the thing is I ha I've had problems with this connection since it's been hooked up. I do need to call the company and see if we can get it figured out, but it'll like randomly just drop out for no reason. I reset the hardware and everything comes right back up. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, man. And this is like, this could be like multiple times in a day. This will happen. And then there are other days where like I went for a whole week and you know, had no interruption at all. And then like one day I had three connection drops where I had to reset the shit. So I don't know. Well, I, don't know. I guess the current Odyssey link is... Problem is now the door's open and Briar Rose can get back in here. We'll yeah, see. so we'll the, see current, what happens, folks. the current stream link on Odyssey is Bucky McBuck. I keep really? reloading and it's done. It's well, I've got the chat refreshed, uh, and I've got you back, and I'm still recording. So, uh -huh. as far as that goes, we're we're good. I mean, yeah, we just um, I don't know. Let's see. Somebody, let me know in the chat uh, if you can still. If you're like hearing us and seeing us and all of that good sort of stuff. No, all right, so Stella says we're back on. So all right, yeah, all right, we're good. Let me, let me go back over here. Like I said, I'm, I'm still recording, so no matter what, you know, this is still gonna go out. Whether there's people in the live stream chat or not doesn't matter. I mean, it does. Thank you guys. I appreciate y'all being here. I'm not trying to minimize your contribution at all, but that's why I record locally. Is so if all that stuff goes sideways. We still have, cause you know, we, you and me on zoom, we're, we're got a good solid connection. So even if there was no live stream, we would still be gone is what I'm saying. I'll just type this in. There. That was wild. Manufacturing reality. I guess, what, did we hit a subject that we shouldn't have? Were we talking about something that was verboten? I know. See, Stella says again, it's climate change. That's why I'm still in shock about the whole Tap Jaker thing on CNN. That's like a third rail. You can't go hard on Zio crazies. Hmm. Yep, it's working. It's back. Yeah, yeah. I see it. Everybody's like, yeah, it's glitchy as fuck, but all good. I mean, that's Odyssey right now. Well, hey, trust but, me, but, guys, I'm I, I'm but, paying close attention to the Odyssey situation, and if the time comes that we need to find another broadcast channel or maybe multiple ones, you know, who knows? So I was going to suggest uh, I got to go pee and grab something to drink. You think we could mm -hmm. throw up that? Um, that actual audible version of uh, Phosphorus Eyes, the one that I just played live I think in we Braille. Should do 
I think we um, should do it because the champion mouser has uh, just appeared. You know, speak of the devil and and poof. <laughs> I think that song is about three minutes long for play yeah. length, but it would be on right. there. Well, that should be right. long enough for you to do your thing. So I'll go and, ahead. And for those and... watching along, uh, you, you can see the rumble link. I'll put the rumble link in the chat as well. And it has the lyrics. Um, and uh, I wrote and recorded this song, composed this song, uh, I was thinking back in June, um, long before the uh, paragliding jihadi marmots. But without further ado, nice. phosphorus eyes, uh, discouraged. Uh, yeah, and this we'll is the what... Red Fella remix. Shout out to my buddy Moen Islam, aka Red Fella, Dead Fella, for uh, doing the mastering and helping to remix this song. So this is actually the Dead Fella remix of phosphorus eyes on the Rumble with the music video I made. All right, yeah, go go piss, and we'll listen to this. Yeah, I'm a poet. All right, let's see. That's not what we're going to listen to. I got it right here. Hold on. Should pop right up. Now, do I actually have to press? Yeah, I think I have to press the play button. Hold on. We'll get there, folks. I've got two hands, and they're both occupied at the moment. It's not what you're thinking, all right? There's a cat here. All right, I got it now. Zionists carried out strikes on the Gaza Strip on Friday. After Open the princess. Skies, white phosphorus eyes, children again. Yeah. It strikes again. Just keep your eyes on the skies, what 
Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that was a great song, uh, by the way. Let's see, is Yona? Yona is back. Yeah. Nice. Back. See that? It's like it's like magic. Put it back, baby. Yeah. But no, I, I have no idea what happened, Stella, because it was uh, it was like an internet outage, but it was Zoom and odyssey both dropped at the same time which is i don't know that's a little uh a little weird a little weird i wonder shout out to uh nsa dia um cia fbi you know all you feds listening in we we know you have a job to do uh we know that's what all the fascists say. Uh, but you guys, you work hard at your fascism, just like we work hard at uh, not being like you at all. So, uh, you know, for all you do. That's right. And I get, to take, I get to take yet one more. Uh, Jimmy Dore victory lap. Uh, That's right making the story all about me. I got it right, folks. Even though the latest bombing of Gaza began four and a half weeks ago, I composed and wrote that it's been song. longer than that, hasn't it? It's been like five weeks now. So it was October said, 7th. We're now November I, 17th. Yeah, I said four and a half weeks. The intense all bombardment right. of Gaza. All right. It's, you know, it's the actually the anniversary bomb- tonight. Yeah. It's the the anniversary of you know the the gliding, the paragliding <laughs> jihadi marmots, which led to the end. We'll have to give it a bottom. cool German name. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the Farfenugen. Um, that's when the Farfenugen began. Um, but you know, that's just basically a little over four and a half weeks of intense Gaza bombardment, but. Over four and a half months ago, I composed this song. And so I was right. And it's all about me being right. Okay, next story. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good Lord. I'm you still know, I, see, I'm I, trying to recover from the I pay attention to what again. these other content creators are doing. So I know to mm-hmm. talk over you as soon as you start talking. And to right. copy all the other things that content creators do. That's yeah. why every story is about me. I learned That's that me. from Richard. Yeah. And how, how much I'm right. Again, yeah. I was right. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about me being right. Speaking of being <laughs> right, you know. <Yona. laughs> I know. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> don't, don't, don't let your narcissism get in the way of your live stream. Just keep streaming. Yeah. Do what you do. I had to make sure you were sure. Okay. That's all it was. <laughs> you know, the only way to get Seth Gavin Newsom. Stomp your own wall. Yeah. You know Gavin Newsom, right? American Psycho. Gavin uh, Newsom, governor oh, of California. Yeah, I, I love his business cards. He's the next president of the United States. You you might be right. You might be right. In the same vein of, of George Washington. Because apparently he likes telling the truth. Did you know that? Yeah. yeah. Did you know why that, do you, that Gavin why do you Newsom think is Pooh Bear intimately went acquainted Frank? with the truth? Pooh Bear got a two for one, right? Yeah. Not only did he get yeah, some yeah. of that high quality Napa Fwani, because um, mm-hmm. Pooh Bear loved Fwani, um, he, he also, <laughs> oh God. Now I'm going to have Mossad assassins and Chinese assassins coming after me because he really there goes the stream. Does Thanks, not dude. like that. I mean, they they went the Chinese went ape shit on the internet oh, going after people Don't just you know sharing he owns Winnie this the Pooh place memes. now. Seriously, <laughs> you're just trying to get us like canceled before we can even get a full season in. Seriously. Oh, wait, I've got two stories about the authoritarianism in Russia where we can totally go after Putin, too. Let's just cover all our bases. 
You know, yeah. if I'm going to get assassinated, I want it to be to where people are like, well, did the Russians kill him or the Chinese or the Iranians? I'm trying to piss everybody off here. man. Yeah. No hold. That's part. true because it's true. Except the penguins. I don't fuck with the penguins. Yeah. Don't fuck with the penguins. They're emperor penguins. And there's an entire right, well, what imperial dominance. What have you got from Russia? Moving on. Yeah. Moving on. What, what do we got from Russia? Um. Yeah. So, in the midst of the ongoing, um, what do they call it? Special military operation. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. How the Russians? They're playing right? by yeah. the rules-based order and doing right. things that the were the rules say you're supposed to do. Yeah. It, 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 and. Although there have been a number of pep rallies in Russia where he has referred to the joyous reunification with Novorossiya, this is by no means a recolonization of the formerly colonized Russian Black Sea coast um, mm -hmm. in no way. Uh, and I would be shocked if the Russian troops in Transnistria between Moldova and the Ukraine would ever be reunited with all the other troops that are along the Black Sea coast fighting for the Russian forces, and that they would close the gap between Tiras Pole and Mariupol and Odessa. Hey, that'll never happen. At least not but for a few They don't weeks. need those troops, do they? Uh... Doesn't seem like they do. Well, I mean, if the Russian troops weren't in Transnistria, then Transnistria wouldn't even exist. And don't you care about Transnistrian rights? No, no, no. I'm what? saying, why would they pull those troops out of there? They don't need them to help with Ukraine. That's handled. Like that, that seems to be well under control. As far as I can tell, I'm not hearing anything about it anymore. So what that tells me is whatever there is to report on, it ain't good for Ukraine. Oh, no, it, it's even better. You didn't hear? The no. United States and NATO is urging Zelensky to seek a peace Oh, yeah, they're like throwing the, the towel, dude. Just throw in the towel. Just go ahead and call it a day. Like, we're good. And so, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Yeah. Say it with me. North Ukraine, South Ukraine. Uh, east and West. East Ukraine, West Ukraine. But east and split. West is better. They're split on a North-South basis. It's, it's going to be yeah, like Vietnam. Exactly. exactly. It's going to be like North Vietnam, South Vietnam. No, and no South you still Ukraine. do East and West. East and West. Uh, I'm telling you. Or maybe maybe you could do like... Uh, yeah, the, you North can't do West east to west Ukraine and south they're gonna have the Ukraine. entire the Russians will control Split the entire on that southern half of yeah. the country. Some women they're like gonna that. have the entire Black Sea coastline, the Russians. All of the Black Sea coast will be theirs and Crimea. I mean, they're gonna at this point, they're gonna have about two thirds of all of Ukraine, and all that will not be occupied by Russia will be basically the northwestern little. The part that's actually not part of Ukraine that Ukraine stole from Poland. Don't tell Poland. Right. Oh, Poland knows. Poland, Poland oh, has know. not forgotten. They, Trust me. They Poland's know. just waiting. They're just waiting. And then with all those millions of the Ukrainians pouring into Poland, God, it made things worse. Ukrainians not so popular in Poland these days. Some bad mm. blood there. Because, you know, the whole stealing a third of their country and everything. And that was after the whole fucking with the Molotov-Ribbentrop pact, which, uh, do I really have to explain? Quick, quick explainer, Molotov-Ribbentrop pact, the Russians and the Germans get together and say, hey, fuck Polacks. The Germans like, I love that joke. You know what? Let's just split the baby. You take half and I'll take half. All right, high five. All right, let's go. That that was the Molotov-Ribbentrop mm -hmm. pact. And, um, it was great for Russia. It was great Sounds for Germany. Right. And Poland got fucked. Um, but don't worry, Chamberlain's coming down from England and he's going to negotiate with Hitler again. Neville Chamberlain, do your thing, buddy. Hmm. And that's Yona's World War II in 60 seconds. There you go. Uh, and and no, uh, the I, addendum, 
Hitler didn't die. He took a U boat to Buenos Aires and his wife right. and Ava Braun, Allegedly. you know, and his daughter grew up, lived a long life. His daughter, Hitler's daughter, still lives in Buenos Aires. Speaks, uh, really? uh, Spanish and, uh, Fajardo, which is a, uh, Italian blend of, uh, nice. the street slang. They speak in, um, Buenos Aires. Don't cry for me, Argentina. I, I didn't pilot the U boat. Well, I'm still waiting for them to do the turn on Zelensky like they did on Hitler, right? Because they spent all that time propping Hitler up again just to let him do whatever, you know, flip out, go crazy. I don't know. Who knows what happened? But like, I'm still I keep holding looking out at hope. Zelensky, right? And he's looking all strung out, right? Like he's just been doing coke for too fucking long, right? He's at that point where he knows he can't stop. Like, that's the only thing keeping him going. And his behavior over the last several weeks, if if you've been paying attention, it's starting to shift, all right? Like, the, the Zelensky that we see in 2024 may not be like, the Zelensky of previous years. There's there's something going on there, and there's well, you there know, is a um, what do they call it? You reach it a point in, where there's there's um, not wrestling. any other opposition parties to ban. I mean, you run out of enemies to execute, and then it's kind of like that um, reign of terror moment where everyone yeah. looks at Danton and Robespierre, and it's like, well, you're the one that made the guillotine, but we think you're guilty too. Jacques! And, and you know, and then the next mm-hmm. thing you know, they're fucking chopping each other's heads off. I mean, I thought it was just about yeah. chopping off noble people's heads. And now we're all. Well, we could start there. To, uh, I don't have a problem with that. You know, and next thing you know, the French Revolution turned into a uh, Republican presidential debate. Oh my God. Hmm. Terrible. Terrible. Not even worth watching. Wait, really? was there another one of those this week? Why? Why are they even having them? It's 2023. What are they debating? What are they debating for? Why are they even doing this? It's not Listen, even an election year. Nobody cares this is why about you anything this year. Expect more content from the Drizzle and Yona. This is why you tune in. I mean, I don't know if we can get this on camera. I've got an entire list of things to go through and clips prepared for this show. Um, Those buds. That's my list. See, oh, we've okay. only got four items left. Um, so, gotcha. anyways, well, you better hurry up. Uh, yeah, because uh, well, remember they kick us up. off the air at midnight. Fuck, thirty-three minutes it, to go, if not before, apparently. Oof, oof. So, um, out, yeah. So there brother. was. Re- so I did cover the Republican presidential debate. They had another one. Hmm. Who won? No one, everyone lost. Correct, <laughs> correct. <laughs> you win the grand okay. prize, sir. <laughs> Page four, and that's the rest of the story. So, and there was uh, much rejoicing in last week's uh, untelevised post episode. I did mention a little bit of Texas history. We got into some of the Texican historical packages and stuff. Mm. Uh, you know, for example. Um, you know, if you think about that moment, that dramatic moment inside the Alamo, that little adobe church in San Antonio and um, Bejar County, mm-hmm. or Bexar, if you're a dumbass. Um, anyways, <laughs> um, Bejar, like Joy Bejar on the view, but with mm-hmm. an X, like Twitter. Right. Um, yeah. So the Mexican Behar, not the Jewish Behar. <laughs> so here you are inside this little Mexican mission church, and I Colonel sure Travis be very uh, dramatically she... pulls out his a sword shirt? and he scratches a, a line in the yeah. sand and says, "There's the Mexican Federales, boys." Oh no! Did we lose the signal? Um. Well, Come your on. camera has frozen up, Shit. and the stream is disconnected. And I imagine I'm going to get the little spinny wheel from Zoom again. Let's see what happens this time. 
No. Maybe this is the one. Maybe this is the polygon, folks. Let's see. Maybe I just have too many things running. Uh-oh. Well, there went the Yona. Uh, yep, it's coming back up. Failed to synchronize. Wait before retrying. Let's see. Yeah, it's not the internet. It is not the internet at all. We are trying to get everybody back. All right, so I got... No, don't have the stream chat back yet. Huh. This is wild. That's all right, weird. we, we got, got the high Yona back. I don't know if we've got the stream back yet or not, but yeah, dude, I have no idea what's going on. This is crazy. This is wild because it's not the internet. I was yeah. checking. I was I was playing on my phone the whole time. I mean, not the whole time, yeah. obviously, there but is. like while I was waiting for the stream to come back up and waiting for you to come back on. Yeah, I was on my phone. I was on the internet doing stuff. Like it was not the internet. It is. Yeah, uh, me too. Huh. So it, it's either it's either I think it's it's got to be Zoom because you've never lost your stream mm. on Odyssey. Odyssey has never dropped well. Signal. That's because of the way I have the stream set up, right? <laughs> because um, because I'm going from OBS. I'm not going through Streamyard. I okay. can set up like the the re automatic reconnect for drops and all of that sort of stuff. So yeah, I can keep it going that way. I don't have to um I don't have to worry about that. But it's it's really odd that it's happening to just those two programs at the same time. It's really odd. Yeah. And that's all I'm going to say maybe, about it. Apparently maybe, again, NSA I'm going to say Indian politicians for whatever it was that one of the two <laughs> of us said. It was just completely <laughs> out of bounds. All right. We're sorry. We're fucking. We found sorry, the new third right? rail. Jesus we found Christ. the new third rail. It's the 400 pound gorilla sitting in the corner of the room, just right. behind the camera shot over Drizzle's shoulder. Right. Do not Can turn we around. Just Drizzle. finish the goddamn show, please. It's a, it's a Hindu gorilla just over your shoulder because it's the Indian. I'm Man. sorry. I apologize for swearing so much. It's just feds get me all worked up. Think about it, man. Kamala Devi Gopalan Harris, Nimarata Randawa Haley. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, what the fuck? What is all of that shit? You miss, know what? Miss, you don't. You can't. You got to use your real name, bitch. You don't use your real name. Shut the fuck up. Oh, are we going with aliases now? You can't, I'm sorry, Elizabeth Warren, you're not allowed to use the handle Pocahontas anymore. It's Elizabeth Warren. Same goes for you, Nimarata Randawa. Nikki. Nikki's not even your name. But yeah, anyways. So we've got Kamala Harris, Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramas Army. Mm -hmm. Um, and of course, the personal favorite of Colonel Drizzle and majorly high Yona, um, the one and only Doctor Ayudai fucking Sheba, mm, right? Doctor Fuck, Doctor Fuck, suck on that, Fucker big Carlson. old communist, Doctor Fuck is. Kennedy, yeah, right. And and I like the way. He massive, massive throbbing socialist is Dr. No Fung. one can text explain yeah. like Dr. Shiva. Like there's mansplaining yeah. and there's text explaining. Because listen, the technocratic problems we're dealing with can only be solved by a Hegelian technocratic master like myself. Take notes, motherfuckers. 
And I, an emphasis on that fucking motherfucker. That's why we love them. Yeah. Because it's one thing to be nerdy and geeky and intellectual and all deep, but just keep pouring in obscenities. It helps you connect more deeply with the hoi ploy. Because that's how we know you're legit. When you fucking swear. I mean, why do you think we're counting Ryan Christian's F bombs on AM Wake Up? I'm fuck yeah. But only on Tuesdays. Only on Tuesdays. Because that's what it matters. That's right. That's, that's when right. You eat your tacos. Tacos make it legit. Yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck you think Drizzle went to Mexico? Tacos. Figure it out. Figure it out. That's right. That's how we do it here. Get fact harder. Figure it out. <laughs> That's the t-shirt. Yeah, That's man. the t-shirt right there. That's it. Yeah. Where's that big frog at? I got him. I got him on speed dial. It's funny. <laughs> when he was on, uh, when he was on AM Wake Up this week, because uh, again, it it was still fairly early in the morning for me, because I've been I've been waking up a little bit later since I've been in Texas. Don't judge me, and uh, no judge. I got on there. I was like Ryan Graham, man. That sounds familiar. I feel like I should know that name. Who's Ryan Graham? Uh, owner operator, Big Frog Beaver. Oh, that Ryan Graham. All right. I know that guy. And the funniest thing of all, Jonah Wallace, one of my two darling identical boy uh, twins, I, identical twin boys. Uh, Jonah Wallace. Wallace <laughs> is Cherokee for Big Frog. Wallace <laughs> is the Big Frog. Um and I inadvertently named one of my children after the t-shirt company. So considering I've named one of my entire fucking children after Big Frog, there's going to be a Big Frog Get Back Carter shirt because, I mean, it's oh, yeah. legal names are involved. <clears throat> well, there has to be at this point. And, of course, Jonah's the one that keeps mommy up all night, every night. Of course he is. Yeah, because that... Big frog. See, now you know that the other one is the one that's going to be trouble when they're older. Mm -hmm. But for now, he's Jonah just hanging is, back, is channeling watching his everybody. Ryan Graham, and he's just, yeah. just like Ryan Graham, he's putting it all out there. Balls out. Yeah. Going hard. Shout yeah. out Big Frog and Ryan Graham. Yeah, Doing that was a good. Doing, that right? was a good Doing show. Right. I I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed listening to that. I also enjoyed uh, talking to Ryan a couple of days prior to that because he has a project that he's working on. He's interviewing a bunch of different creators in the independent media space uh, and putting it all together. I guess for like a feature length documentary, um, and asking them all. Uh, the same or similar questions, you know, so that you can, he can kind of, uh, I guess, like uh, segment it around, you know, various topics or ideas or whatever. Um, and I, I really enjoyed talking to him for the, I don't know, hour and a half or whatever that it was that, that uh, we got together. Yeah. He's a good guy. Real good guy. I think I'd talked to him before, I obviously, but. I'm really looking forward to the next get together. I had, I got so much out of the last get together at the cause fest down there, getting to hang out IRL style with uh, uh, Pasta and Ryan and and and, and others. Um, and funny thing was, they were making a backstage in the green room. They were making a do a documentary of all the performers, and then one by one. The crew was going around and they'd set up a little studio spot in the back of the green room over by the bathrooms uh, past the table with all the booze and chips and everything. And they were interviewing people for their documentary for the, I guess, the documentary, the cause fest and interviewing the different guests and stuff uh, one by one by one. Uh, and then he came by me one time. He's like, oh, we'll get to you in a little while. And then, you know, a couple hours went by and 
everything and packing up their stuff. And I was like, are you guys done for the night? Oh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. I was like, oh, I guess he'll get me tomorrow. Yeah, we'll get you tomorrow. So then hmm. tomorrow rolls around. Yeah, and they're doing it again tomorrow. And so when it gets to me in the afternoon, I was like, uh, hey, did you guys ever want to talk to me? Uh, like, we're just getting the people that have been on stage. I was like, what? I've been on yeah. stage twice. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll get you this afternoon. I was like, well, that's what you said yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they, they never did. Because then the last that's time surprised. I went to talk to him, he was like, oh, we already put up our stuff. Sorry. Um, we'll get you next time. And so that's my segue. I can't wait for the next time. You know what's interesting? Yeah. Is I heard a similar story <laughs> relayed. <laughs> excuse me. Uh, by some folks down in Acapulco, uh, and they were talking about the film crew uh, that did all the work on the HBO documentary uh, on oh. Anarchapulco. Yeah, they were they were only interested in filming certain people, essentially. That was weird to me because there was one point where I actually sat and a little weird. Don't you think you would kind of want to get as much as you possibly could? To me, the because isn't it about the story you're trying to tell, right? Isn't that what movies do? They tell stories. How do you not interview Ashley Babbitt's sister and mother? And for those that are like wondering, that's a damn good question. That name seems kind of familiar. Well, Ashley Babbitt is the Air Force combat veteran who allegedly, some people say, met her demise in the Capitol during the J-6 uh, guided. Oh, she was sacrificed, man. She was a blood sacrifice. Yeah, she was killed um, by who? We're still waiting for a thorough investigation, which has yet to take place. By somebody Um, holding a gun. We know that. Right. Yeah. Well, who, who would have a gun in the her. U.S. Capitol? Probably Secret Service. We do know what killed her. In fact, it was bullets. Um. So Ashley Babbitt and her sister are there, and so you know, I'm talking. I'm and they came over because I was I had my keyboard there and I was playing in the green room, and they came over and I was you know, and so I started playing this other uh, tune, "Priceless Life," which is on the uh, Capitalistocracy album with the Dead Fella. And so I'm playing Priceless Life, and they come over. And so, and they're like, because they're like, you know, um, Christians and pro-life, and they hear Priceless Life, and they're like, and they start talking about abortion. So we ended up having a prayer right there, and so I'm praying with the, with Ashley Babbitt's, like, two closest surviving next to Ken, and get done. And the dude's over there with the documentary thing, and, and of course, they just got them coming off stage, so they're stage presenter, and there's the bad, and and he sees them, and he just immediately cuts out and just leaves for like an hour, and then comes back after they were already gone, and then the, um, what's the guy from Infowars, uh, the one that I was talking uh, to was War is uh, oh, uh, the- Harrison, Harrison. Harrison. Yeah. So I, so I'm like talking to Harrison, and Harrison's like, they're not going to talk to the Babbitts? Like I know, right? And so you know, it just seemed weird, and, and that seems kind of similar to the whole Narco Poco film crew. Mm. Like you know, they've already storyboarded out; they've got their narrative plans, what they're going to pitch, and this is who they're going to talk to. And rest the ends can fuck off. Basically, yeah, we already know who we want to talk to, and we already know we just got to get them to say these certain lines, and then we know we can put it in there. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, I, I just well, need I mean, a yes or no. That's how you. That's how you make a movie. That's how you. Make, I just that's need a how yes movies or no. are made. Yes that's, or no. I don't want the long. That's how you do it. Yes or no. Right. <laughs> and like, if the, you don't like, if you don't want people to hear a certain part of the story, you just don't film that. Right. You don't put that in there. You make sure that that does not go in the final cut that goes out to the audience. And there's a number of different ways that you can do that, but it's easiest to just not, just not film it. And if you're wondering why the Yona was able to dunk the ball just now, that's because the drizzle just laid it off the backboard for me on the fast break there, because the very next story on our list, as I can show you very clearly. Good. I'm glad you got one because I've only got one left. See right there. 
according to the Committee to Protect Journalists, who have been keeping records. What? 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 Who? Why? Why would anyone accord- want to do that? The Committee to Protect Journalists, which has been tracking journalist deaths worldwide since 1992. Oh, okay. Reported I know who you're talking about. That October, I didn't know that's what they were called. That's October ironic. October was the single deadliest month for people in media that they uh-huh. recorded in 32 years of record. this last October. October 2023, 45 journalists yeah. murdered yeah. Uh, in Israel, Israel alone. Alone. Yeah. Yeah. Not to mention um, journalists. In Mexico. Next story, please. Yeah. Page that six. happens in Mexico. It does. It happens. It happens in Brazil. Happens in Argentina. Chile. Chile is known for some disappearing journalists. Let me tell you. They have a history. It's true. Search it up. Page six. Yeah. Okay. Because, you know, um, I could go into the other story. We're making that, that a thing, by about. the way. Hashtag search it up. Um, because there is a. I've decided. There is another war going on right now between the CDG, that's the Cartel del Golfos, and the Zetas, okay. who control the uh-huh. corridor. Go. Uh huh. Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, that's where my dog. Okay, so the, in order to protect the safety of my dog, um, we're moving on to the next story. Okay. Is that my story? And, and that's it for Mexico. Um, okay. Please don't All hurt right. my dog. Please don't hurt my dog, I say. Okay, and next story. Well, have you been feeling the pinch, Yona, when you go to, uh, to the grocery store? To get the provisions. Yes. Weekly groceries. Yes, you know, because I, I do DoorDash and Uber. And with DoorDash, I get to do the shop and buy, shop and deliver orders for DoorDash. Oh, wow. Uh, where, like, I push the button and it says, okay, you got 25 items to shop for and you got 10 minutes and you've never been in the store before and you absolutely hate fucking shopping and you're only going to make $10. But that's only if you can get all this done in 20 minutes. So it's now, like a game show. Your shopping. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then as I'm tossing everything in, I look oh, at I would totally like, dominate God with that, man. Damn, That's exactly how I shop. bag of chips? God I'd be so damn, good at that. $10 for eggs? And I just throw the eggs in. I'm like, oh, two of them are busted. <laughs> oh, well. See, I mean. Hey, it wasn't busted because of my driving. It was busted in the store. It left That's the right. store busted. Not my driving. Bust oh, just it. wait. Just wait, Yona, because the time is coming and it's not too far away. Mark my words. You won't have to worry about doing the shopping. You're just doing the transporting. You go to the store, you pick up the order because you're no longer allowed in the store, you dirty fucking peasant. But here's the order that you're being paid uh, a pittance to trek across town so that you know, some fat fucker can stay on their couch and play video games all day. I did find a way to make money on all these. I'm sorry. Did I say that? Grocery out loud? Shopping. Yeah. That, and that's another F bomb, but yeah. it doesn't count because it's not Tuesday. Um, so I found a way to make an extra did five I? to $10. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I really got to watch that. This is how you make an extra five to $10 on every Aldi shop and deliver order. All you door dashers out there. You can use flint or wood, make you some plugs the exact same size as a quarter. You're going to need about 50 of them. And then go and swap out all of the quarters in the Aldi's shopping carts with your fake quarters. Boom. Extra 10 bucks. Mm. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, along with that, There's an article that's going to be down in the notes once they get published. I don't remember where it came from, uh, but it'll be down there and you can find the link. But apparently food suppliers are also feeling the pinch of Biden inflation as cold storage is now becoming more expensive to 
own and operate and use in a transportive manner. And that affects the entire food chain, food supply. So it turns chain. out um, when it yeah. comes to cold storage, Freon is mm-hmm. free. There you go. That's right. That's right. It's not Freon. <laughs> Comes with a price. That's right. And that price, price is going up. Yeah. That's why I don't so, worry about refrigerated foods. I, you know, I, I, I buy uh, like trail mix stuff, you know. Hmm. What little I buy. I mean, truth is, I hunt and gather every day. I forage. Like, like a, you know. You remember that uh, Predator movie where he's fighting the Native Americans and some of them are fighting the Predator and others just keep I running into so. the bushes and picking berries. And every time the other Indians are fighting with the Predators, they go and hide and eat more berries. I, I'm a berry eater. Okay. Fuck that Predator. I'm, these blackberries are delicious. And, and, that, and well, that's you know- uh, Yona's recommended movie of this week. Um, predator. that predator movie with the Indians in it. Yeah, you know what we never did get around to talking about is the economy oh, Santa Anna for 2024. Was... That's right. That's yeah. the last story. Yeah. Well, we better, yeah. So spoiler I mean, alert. We um, we got like I, maybe I, ten minutes. All right, I can wrap up the Texas story in ten seconds. So Colonel Travis draws a line across the sand. Sam Bowie and Davy Crockett, who came from Tennessee, they, they step across the line with them. It's the, all the Mexicans are there. Santa's lined up. Santa Ana kicks their ass. They lose the Alamo, but that prompts more Americans to come into Mexico and liberate it from Mexico. Hmm. Um, and that's why it's called Texas. Uh, and Santa Ana went on at his plantation where he had chicory trees and discovered chicle uh, hmm. which is bubble gum and so every person on planet earth that's ever chewed on bubble gum can thank santa anna who kicked the alamo's ass and went on to become the godfather of big bubble gum santa anna all right now to the last story we mm-hmm. got it in yeah you're welcome texas so are they are they trying to tell us that there's going to be war next year between the United States and China? Was that one of the many implications on the cover graphic from the uh, the Economist? Like, did you take a good long look at that picture and yeah. see all of the symbolism that was contained in it? Clearly, it's time to tie one off. You've been waiting. You've been waiting oh, all show to use that one. Dude, <laughs> that's, you? that's the first pun I put in the oven. That motherfucker's been broiling for an hour and a half solid. <laughs> Holy shit. It's that that was the LD brown. pun of the night. That was the <laughs> LD pun of the night right there. Fuck yeah. And that's why you tune in, folks. Fuck yeah. I love words. I fuck words. That's right. That, that's what makes it great radio. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And, and for those radio listeners that are radio impaired, this uh, broadcast is also available in Braille. <laughs> that is all you, brother. I have enough work to do. I don't, <laughs> I don't need to add that onto my plate. I we'll take care of that language. Post. Don't worry. Not even, we'll not even a post. spoken language. Damn, it's just you use your fingers to, to read. What? Yeah, just like uh, that, that's how Biden feels out as secretary. How does that staff. work? I don't understand that. Maybe, Did maybe you? I will one day. Maybe now I've jinxed myself and I will be forced to understand that one day. Oh, you know, thirty years from now. Oh, that's what that's what that meant. Okay, that's what that feels like. Now I know. Actually, you know what? If we can get your little um, your video box a little bit smaller, and if you could learn American Sign Language or Plains Indian <laughs> Sign Language, I mean, we could, could really expand our sit audience. Sit here, throw up gang signs, you know, like that one it. guy did. 
Remember yeah. when there was the fake, <laughs> the fake guy, and then they got got totally got. But this guy doesn't even know sign yeah. language, and he's been doing I, I don't know how many years he's been working the circuit, and I can't believe none of the other signers like like the fuck are you doing, man? What the fuck is this? Yeah. Not even. Wow, I, I, it takes some balls of pure brass to put yourself out as an ASL interpreter for official public events and to keep getting gigs when you don't even know it. Yep. Balls. That's yeah. balls deep. Or that is a can do attitude right there. That's we need more of that in this world, honestly. We that, do. That, 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 that's the sign for balls deep. Balls deep. So all audiences can understand. Anyways, uh, back to you, Chris. Uh, for me, for what? I'm out. I'm out. And, and, and for the benefit I'm of empty. the radio audience, I was just I using a sign language. Checked for off. I got it all. We did everything. We got it all this time. We left nothing on the table, Yona. It's all there. It's all right there. We, we didn't cover trains. Uh, well, we still got like seven minutes, six minutes, according to the stream. I don't know. All right. Well, Amtrak has been making the Good news. Night, everybody. Um, so it turns out yeah. earlier today, President Poopy Pants himself finally signed into law the latest uh, government funding spending bill. So for those of you that were holding your breath that we would have a government Wait, shutdown before Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weren't they supposed to have one of those, like, Thanksgiving? I thought they were planning for Thanksgiving weekend so that they didn't have to well, work. Well, there's not going to be a shutdown because... <laughs> Am I uh, kidding? They don't have to work. Uh, well, the last time they kicked the can down the road, it landed right in the middle of the road, just three feet away. And so they just kicked the can down the road again. And so we've got a continuing funding bill to wait till um, January the second. Um, so we're good. Uh, so in that funding bill uh, is the new appropriations for Amtrak. And so what's kind of weird is, um, and I've already explained what Amtrak is with National Rail Passenger Corporation and all mm -hmm. that. Nineteen seventy-one. So moving on, um, you can go back to previous episodes uh, to learn more about Amtrak, or I don't know. Use the fucking internet. So uh, Amtrak funding, this time around, the regular operating budget for Amtrak funding has been cut by about two-thirds, which is a problem. That's significant. Amtrak provides 100% the passenger rail service for America. Right. Period. Yeah. Uh, 100%. And so all of it. The fares alone do not cover the total cost of transportation. The same as with right. airlines and other things. Although, sure, whatever. When it comes to repaving, that's all um, fucking smoke and mirrors, man. The fucking airline ticket prices—that's all bullshit. But the all thing of it, it is, I all the runways, it. the terminals, the parking garage, everything to do with the infrastructure at the airports, all uh -huh. paid for with federal money. Yeah, tax well, incentives comes, and yeah, but when it and comes fucking to Amtrak, bond issuances and all the, of that shit, yeah, you know, it's of course, all the fucking rail, monopoly money, man. As we've discussed before, the the rail corridors and the rails themselves are privately owned by Chinese investors with the four class one monopoly railroads. But then Amtrak right. trains are allowed to operate over those corridors. So long story short, the corridor that's the busiest in all of North America, is called the NEC, the Northeast Corridor. That's where you have the SL Express, which is the fastest train in North America, which goes sometimes almost up to 100 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, and it connects from uh, Richmond, Virginia, to Boston, Massachusetts, uh, by way of D.C. and um, B. Moore and Philly and, um, God forbid, Jersey and New York. And, um, yeah. Hartford, shout out to Scotty. And of course, when you're on the train through Connecticut, it's best to duck to avoid being shot. Very, very dangerous in Connecticut. Again, ask Biscotti. Um, 
So Northeast Corridor is the busiest rail corridor. And of course, again, most of it's privately owned. Uh, and the rail tunnels in Baltimore and in New York under the Hudson. Um, the bridges over the Susquehanna River and the Raritan and the Hell's Gate and others. Again, privately owned, terrible shape. So there's, I think, $16 billion in special separate funding from the federal government for the federal government to rebuild this privately owned infrastructure, brand new, that will still be privately owned, that's being totally replaced with public funding for Amtrak's use. But then it's still going to be privately owned by Chinese investors that own the four last one railroad. So even though Amtrak is being pitched in the press as getting all this fucking money, the money is for new infrastructure improvements on privately owned right-of-way that will then be turned over as private property, even though the taxpayer is paying for it. Whereas the actual train sets and the people on the Amtrak trains serving passengers, they all just got a 60% pay cut and mm. staff cut. <clears throat> At the same nice. time, all this money is given to railroad contracts. So they got gutted. That's what happened. They got gutted. And so it's a it's a real paradox because at the same time they got sixteen mm. billion dollars, they got a sixty percent cut in their general operating budget. Um, so there's Amtrak Joe, who may have dealt the fatal blow to Amtrak. Mm. Nah, before he imagine dies that. or leaves off. Imagine the that. Bolt. Yeah. He, Joe he Biden killing an industry. Has that ever happened before? I'm not sure. Not sure. We'll have to let the fact checkers uh, well, at least give us the answer on that the, one. He did step in and help uh, end the railroad strike um, by making it illegal. To oh, yeah, he squashed it. He squashed it. That's what happened. He squashed it. Oh, and last right. strike story, GM, final, Big Auto. Final 90 seconds, thing. Yona. Final 90 big seconds. Big Auto workers. Uh, the auto workers, the Big Four Detroit, Detroit Big Four auto companies, uh, they just signed a deal, uh, and the different factors are, are voting on it, but it looks like uh, Teamsters and the UAW got a deal cut with um, the big four auto companies uh, and it's a shitty deal of course because there is no labor power left and that's it for this week's Get Back Harder that's right you must support the thing that's right I think we covered all the stuff that needs to be covered um, if you want to see the Laura did. Loomer debate what the fuck's wrong with you watch something else nah, that's there's, all I got. there's no point no point in covering that. Uh, better to spend your time, especially on Sunday nights, doing something like, I don't know. Hanging maybe. out with the awesome Grand Theft World Main guys. Show. Yeah. Yeah. Hang out with the awesome Grand Theft World guys. Uh, we we doing this next week. We doing a Thanksgiving night. Get your turkey fact harder thing. Oh, it, it it's going to be a special Thanksgiving edition of get back. Oh my goodness. Uh, but it's going to be more of a focus on Turkey. So you're going to want to pull up and have your legs perched atop an ottoman. All right. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You might want to grab the stirrup chair for uh, next week's broadcast, if you know what I'm saying. Absolute last word, Yona. Ten seconds. Uh, je talk to Sesti, and my last shout out of the night is to um, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. What's up, my homie? Now, how about that's all I got? Just talk safety.